Well, welcome to Cord Art. Uh, today we're going to try and make something like this. This robin. It's not easy. There's lots of. It's all basic knots, but it's just a bit awkward to make. So, what are we going to need to make this? Obviously, some red 550 cord, some brown 550 cord. I'm going to be gutting some cord for its wings and its tail. I'm going to need some 2mm cord to wrap round some wire feet. Now, his eyes are beads. Just put a little bit of cord super glued round a bead. See if I can show you one. I've made a couple of eyes or option of eyes for this video. Um, the, oops, paint's still wet. The problem I have is actually size of beads. Now, as you can see, the size of the bead on there is quite small, whereas this one, can't see it. It's quite a bit bigger. It's all I had. So it's either use the bigger ones or go shopping for small ones. And I haven't got time to go shopping for small ones. Uh, we're gonna have to do a monkey's fist for its head. Now we're gonna have to shape a piece of foam. I started off with an egg. Now that egg shape was, um, what size have I got on there? Two and a half by one and three quarter sphere of foam or polystyrene and what I've actually done is just split it down biasing let me show you put this robin down biasing the top not the sharp end biasing the, sh the top and I've come down down one and a half inches so that we're going to actually make a monkey's fist on that a bit later so I'll put those to one side um we're going to need a variety of things to tools to make this um creature um i'm going to be using two fids on a piece of cord doing the tri trilobite um we're going to need um, some wire lots of bits of wire i've got two types of wire here really thin wire which is easily bent around no problem I get these from the gardener shop and then one which is just a slightly more rigid yeah so we're going to be needing two lots of types of wire but um we're going to need scissors we're going to need lighter we're going to need pliers we're going to need a craft knife to cut that um piece of foam we're going to need a touch of super glue some hot glue um i think that's about it so let's get started on that. Now, I wanna make the body first. Now the body is a bit awkward. It's doing like a trailer bite in 3D. Can you see that I've actually made three loops there? That one's still single at the moment. We're gonna make it double in a minute. There's a double loop, another double loop. The idea is that these three are gonna have a trailer bite or trilobite wrap round it can you see with the red here we're going to actually be going through that but to actually achieve these rings what we'd actually need is a piece of wire and a piece of cord wire is eight and a half inches long so we've got that piece of wire this is the slightly sturdier wire so I've got the wire there at eight and a half inches and a piece of 550 stripped out cord of eight inches. So we've got eight and a half and eight inches. So we're gonna slide that into there, like so. Gonna bend it round into a circle, like so. Poke the end into there. Now the idea is to actually glue the ends together. What I've tended to do is put a bit of heat glue 
on that wire put some hot glue just on the wire here and hopefully we'll have a, a success just touch them together like so and twirl it twirl it a bit like that what you're going to try and do is keep all the glue parts together and they'll end up underneath the head so the head will go actually go on to all of the joins if you like i'm just going to give this one a touch of super glue just so it stays with its partner just touch a super glue there hold them together like so it's just a matter of having a structure a skeleton to actually make this go ahead now what I want to do now is get all the joins together here yeah. like so on all six of them the three cores and I want to put a piece of masking tape just round here to keep the thing in position. As I say, try and keep all the joins together. We'll just take a bit of time to make sure that they're where we want them. We'll put that bit of tape round there and then we're going to be working down this side. We're going to be going from the tape down this side with the red. Now we need a piece of red whole cord um, and that needs to be about 42 inches in length. Uh, I've got a piece of 42 inch piece of red here and I've put them, um, you can actually fiddle them around without doing the, uh, w with the um, fids, but I'm going to make life easier for myself and use two fids. Yeah. So the idea, let's see if we can keep this on shot, is to use these as three cores. One, two, three. Although they're double cores. Yeah. Now we need to go underneath this this core. We need to split. So we've gone underneath the fir first core there, yeah. We need to split that core. Go down through there. Come up between the outer core and the middle core. This is all just set up so, to make the trailer bike work. And then we come over the top. Yeah. Make sure we haven't got too much twist here and there. See if I can get a better shot. So what we've actually done there, take it up to the top, just to where those knots are or the joins are. As I say, a bit fiddly. So we've gone underneath that one, over one of the center ones and down through. And then so we've got the two pieces of cord coming from that same size. Like so. Takes a little bit of getting there, but it does work. Uh, we're going to come over this core and underneath that core over this core under that core over the outer core like so before we tighten that one up and then it's going to go under through there over the center core and out that way not as clear as I'd like to, to, to make it but uh, 
So what we've actually done is if we start at the top again, we've come under the out this this core here, uh, over half of one of the cores, and down through the middle, out, and then over the top of this one. Yeah. Now the reason that you have to do that is so that this one is coming under, and that one's coming over. Once you've got to that position, you can tighten it up a little bit. But the saving grace with this, you can always actually go back over and tighten up with a pair of pliers. But none of this will be showing. It will be underneath the head. Right. So taking our right hand cord again. We're going to go over the outer core under the inner one and over the left hand core like so before we tighten up this cord on this side above this one is going to go under up through over the center over the center core and through but it will come good we'll do one more and then I'll go forward and complete the red part of this so right one over the core under the center core over the left hand core Bring it to about that position, yeah. Left hand cord under the under the left hand over the center and the right. And then just work it up. Nice. I travel down here this the red part needs to be about three inches down here. Well, as you can see, it does, with a bit of effort, it does start to come good. Don't worry about the shape of the whole thing at the moment. We've just come down two and a half inches of the red. I'll see if I can do one more. Then we'll show you how we join the brown to the red and continue on all the way round. So we're going to come across, hopefully I've got enough cord left on here, over the right, under the centre and over the left, like so. Before we tighten it up, we take the left hand cord up underneath the first core, like so. Then we're going to go right over the top of the red cord and the center core and then back out underneath we can use the the strength of the wire now to actually tighten up now here comes the tricky part we've got to cut and join the cords to brown we've got to pick the place where we want to actually join them I want to join this one behind here. So I'm going to mark that one just there, round the back, where I'm going to cut it. So that one is going to be joined underneath there. Um, this one I believe I'm going to cut just behind this right hand core. Yeah, so I'm just going to mark that one as well. Mark it down. Hopefully I've made an impression on them. So we'll take our two fids off.
bring these out and it was behind this one here so we're going to slice that off there like so and then this one we're going to bring back out and I can see where I've marked it just there like so we're then going to need 90 inches of brown cord so we've got 90 inches of whole brown cord now I've made those two ends so that we can put um, a fit on them but I'm gonna actually half that 90 inch whoops half that 90 inch piece cut it in half so we've got 45 inches on each part put one to one side for a minute and then we're going to melt these together I tend to get them both together like so heat one heat two back to that one back to that one back to that one back to that one making sure you don't set fire to it them together let them dry for just a second like so and then just give it a little bit of a roll as it's warm bit of heat on that one 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 before they catch on fire touch them together let them dry for a second and then just give it a little bit of a roll all right what we need to do now is put our fids back on one on there now we've got to pick up where where we left off now that's just about right as it is at the moment so the right hand side one is going to come over the left hand side core under and over like so and hopefully this join is just going to go around the back there if I cut it a bit short then it'll show <laughs> and then before that goes fully tight we'll put the left hand one up through there over the center and under the right hand side one you can appreciate a lot of this it, it needs sort of finger and pressure um, to actually get and achieve what you want so it's not always easy to show um, on screen so you have to bear with me that's not too bad well I'm going to progress this a, a bit more now I'm going to come more or less right round to the end go right the way round here and then I'll join you again well, welcome back this is what I've been trying to achieve I know I've gone around it a bit uh, around the roundabouts and down the slide sort of thing but um, yeah I'm there where I want to be now um, so if I just take those fids off put them to one side for the moment and we'll just snip those two extra bits inside bit of heat on those stop them going anywhere and that's what I've been trying to achieve there's the red breast there's the join at the top here still looks pretty neat you have to sort of work at it 
once you've gone all the way around just about got rid of that uh, join on, on, on the brown and the red doesn't matter if this looks a little bit untidily or it's a bit thicker I think it ends up that way because we started and finished there plus that all the joins are underneath there yeah so what we need to do now is just shape it a little bit we want its red chest there we're just going to make it into a sort of a egg shape here yeah. something like that something to work from so if we leave it at that being the shape we now need to make a wing well the wings are made quite easily there's a um, cobra gutted cobra down a piece of wire we'll be doing one of those in a minute but the idea is that we turn that run it's got a bit of wire in the middle of it so if we bend that round to about the position like so and then this is going to be glued onto there like so another piece of the stronger wire and we've got some oh wing nine inches of wire and make sure of those uh, yeah nine inches of wire and nine inches of cord so what we'll do is we'll just melt over one end of that gutted cord nine inches of nine and a half inches of gutted cord and the nine inch wire I bent that over slightly just to push it up through disappears in there and that's going to be so the wires in there don't know if I was on online then wire in there heat that up melt it over now we need what do we need seven foot of gutted cord to do a cobra down a nine inch piece of wired cord right so that's those two bits we'll keep them together and find the center there's the center there's our core of nine inches of uh, wire in a nine and a half inch piece of uh, cord now what we're going to do there I want to make sure that this comes on comes through so we're going to get the loop and we're going to put it over the top of the core yeah like so then the left hand side one we're just going to bulge out a little bit and hold it like so yeah the right hand one comes over the top of the left hand core a cord that's just come over behind and through the loop basic cobra so that's our first cobra yeah like so our first cobra we're going to make this is a tight knot we're going to pull the core just to the end there like so then we're going to carry on doing a cobra right over the top left over the right and under and off we go well hi there um, there's our eight inches of gutted cobra yeah so we've got a piece of wire right the way down the middle there inside a piece of cord and then we use the seven foot of um, gutted cord to do that done one already down here and I've actually glued it together so that it just fits um, now I say eight inches I mean we've got to actually bring that round now so that it looks like a wing to there now if you try it on the obstacle or on the object shall we say not an obstacle object um, you'll see if you need to add another one before 
before it's all cut and trimmed and everything yeah so you have to make it just slightly to size so we're going to put a bit of hot glue just there bring that back round so that it looks like the wing now we have a right and a left wing. Now what I did on the previous one is have a um, if I can get the lid off a bit of a pin up here yeah. so this is still flex this is still flexible so we can actually play around with it still but uh, we'll have a few pins another one in there You have to be a bit careful because there's wire in there as well, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, that did go through. So there's one wing on. Right, I'll leave that at that for the moment. I'm going to put a few more pins in there before I decide exactly where I want it but as you can see it's starting to take shape we've got two wings now we've got a red breast and the rest of the body gonna have to play around with where I got those pins but um, I'll do that offline so that we got it exactly right because I'm f f fingers and thumbs at the moment all right so that's the body made let's make it uh, beak now the beak is made out of two millimeter orange cord gutted yeah now it's made in two parts the bottom part there's the bottom part of the beak is an angel's wing and it's just got four bites i.e four turns just round the bottom the top one has five bites and we'll make that one now what we need to do is get a piece of cord um, top of the beak piece of orange gutted cord two feet long and a three inch piece of wire now it's that uh, thin wire I've got some cut already here somewhere here we, there we go so that's a three inch piece of thin wire we're just going to slot that into the cord I have doubled the end over slightly so that it uh, doesn't foul up so that three inch piece goes into there like so just heat the end over And then what we're going to do, we're going to keep that piece of wire in there, pointing over towards the right. We're going to bend this over, this long piece of cord, just where it sort of finishes on the wire there, yeah. We're going to bend that down at a right angle. So can you see what we've got there so we've looped that back to there this is just to stop the cords coming off so we go under this beam at the front and up under like so so we got that one this one goes over the comes out from underneath over the top of the bottom one underneath the second one and above the third one so that's two bytes we got there we want five comes up over under and over under and over 
So there's three. I hope we've got enough cord here now. Should have made it smaller. Um, another loop. And uh, bit fiddly, but angel's wings. I've um, shown how to make them on other videos. Getting there. One, two, three, four. And then if we bring this one up through to the top, oh, over that one, just weave it up so that it goes between the two center ones over. Probably need a little bit more cord than that, but we're there, yeah. there we go that's a relaxed angel's wing with one two three four five bytes on it so how are we going to achieve this we're going to bring all these loops along there like so and where we bent that one down at a right angle we're now going to right bend it down again we don't want the loops to go that way if you if you like then that bottom loop there, we're going to pull this top bit down. We're going to take the slack out of it. Take the slack out of it like that. And then where it disappears up into the knot. I'm going to pull it onto that wire like so. Yeah. Going to come through the knot. down the knot to the bottom beam tightening up as we go then we're going to go back up the knot if I can get hold of the right one and pull nice and tight on that one there yeah We're now going to go back over the knot, through the knot, taking that slack. Through the knot that way. Going to come down through the knot. Tightening as we go. We're going to have to go through this twice because we won't get the tension we need to make a very small beak. Back through the knot. Seems to be a bit of glue on there. Why's it got a bit of glue? A bit of hot glue on there. It's not gonna help it. So we come through the knot again. We're gonna go back down. through, tightening up as we go, make sure we don't lose that end, it was a bit short to begin with, we'll hold that one there, come back down through the knot,
going on here now. Oh, there we go. Right. So we're there at the moment. We've got to be half that size. So we're going to give it another bit of a pull along the wire in the bottom. Yeah, there. Pull that up like so. And then we're going to tighten up again. We're going to start tightening up where the wire comes out of the object, just here. Now, it's a bit too small for me to show you what's going on. In fact, shortly I'm going to be using my long nose pliers to get as much tension into this as I possibly can to um, come up with something just slightly bigger than that. As you can see, it's uh, there's a fair bit of difference at the moment. So I'll just stop it there, tighten up through this angel's wing with a pair of pliers and show you the result. Well, sorry about not showing uh, tightening that up, but you can see just how tight it is. I mean, it's the size of a fingernail or one of my fingernails. I know I'm pretty big, but uh, well, it's smaller than the thumbnail. So my eyesight's not all that good. So I have to have it right up to my nose using these trusty old long nose pliers just to pull the threads through. Um, so that one's got five on it. A five bytes where are we one two three four five along there so that's going to be the top of the beak and the one with four is going to be the bottom of the beak now because these are so small um, when I've actually made the head I'll place them onto the face um, but I probably have to do that off of line as well because it's so delicate. I usually pin them into position before gluing them. Where are we going now? I suppose we'd better sort out uh, the head itself. I know a lot of people don't like um, making monkey's fists. I suppose there would be other options. You could actually colour a piece of uh, foam or something and stick that on. Uh, mind you, you've got to remember that uh, this foam doesn't like super glue, and the reason it just melts it. So, what I tend to do before making a monkey's fist is get some of the um, masking tape. Doesn't have to be neat, but I certainly do give it a good old surrounding of tape before I put it into my jig. Um, that allows super glue to be able to be used on the outer outer side a little bit right so there's our core for the monkey's fist yeah now you will need something to make a monkey's fist on i have put a video out of how to make one of these in fact how to make this one but uh yeah so that's going to go down in to a position like so then the top's going to go on if i can find the right holes it doesn't it's not really cr crucial which holes you have it in as long as you've got it in some reasonable holes to the uh, dimensions of the core Something like that. And there we go. Push that down there. Now, I've made it a bit smaller at the top in those holes so that it holds it like so. Yeah. Now I'm going to cut myself a piece of cord. I can't remember the length, so I've got to start thinking about that. And I'll get ready and then we'll make the monkey's fist. Right, so I've cut myself 16 feet of cord. I think it's going to be far too much, but we can measure what we got left over afterwards and I can give you a better idea. Um, make the monkey's fist. Just going to lay that down there and go, we're going to go around seven times. Seven. You didn't have to decide. I mean, this head is slightly deeper than the other one 
but if it's uh, looking good at seven uh three six seven yeah i think we're we're okay at seven so we've gone round seven times pins holding it there we're now going to go round this post here i don't know if you can see um round this post here and then back gonna take the whole lot back through the jig probably only need half this cord um, so there's the beginning part we go underneath now up like so now that we've gone underneath we can take that pin out the way it's not gonna it's not doing anything back over the top pulling all through as I say I have done other videos on monkey's fists it's a bit awkward to show um, we're gonna come across how many times are we gonna come across so we're going across the top of the head now two four six eight I think that's seven now we come underneath oh now we've got uh, a crisscross there that's no good that's better three six seven so we've got to complete that number seven so it's got to go around again should be eight eight across the top two four six eight that's correct so we got seven going up the side eight going over and underneath now we're going to dive down through there we're gonna yeah I got miles too much cord probably only needed about 12 feet So we're going to go inside and down through there, yeah. Give that a bit of a twist and that's looking good. Now we're going to go backwards through there. underneath the bottom twist it to the back and then back up through there yeah and over the top so that's going to be one I want to get um, how many do I want to get there um, probably eight yeah probably eight so I'm going to carry on now putting that through there back underneath up through those back cords here I can do that eight times and I'll come back to you so right it's uh, 12 feet was the right length for that size of uh, core um, so what have we got there we got seven going up we could have had eight um, but I think seven would be enough and then we've got eight going over that way and eight coming over this way so let's take it off the jig and there we have it as 
as it is at the moment yeah I'm quite pleased with that we've got enough core here that we can actually go around a ninth time if we wanted to and sometimes I do even though that we were in half way tightened position but the way I like to um, tighten these up is to find where this small link is there I can see that if I pull on that one I pull this one here so I just tuck that one up there knowing that that one is attached to this one what I've got folded up and then I start to pull those cords not too tight because I'll probably go around a second time coming up to the top one now bring that one through it's now going to go we just pulled that one there around the and now it's going to go through here and come out there as I say not too tight not yet This is why I like nice lots of slack. You can see, you can see the white there. I always tuck that round and into there to cover the white. I mean, the cords aren't going to be absolute sizing to your core, so you have to play around with it as you go along. changing direction again now just pulled that through and now we're going to come down we're going to be going over the top see how the others have gone slack now yeah these have gone slack because we've tightened up others that's the reason we have to go around twice I'll finish this one off I'll do the second passing in my own time if I come across any misdemeanors I'll let you know ie whether I've got to sew in another stitch or something like after it's been tightened once it's starting to look the part isn't it but uh, I can feel that quite a few of these are slack again now so I'll tighten it up once more there we go I think that will do just fine that's come out really quite well I mean there's always a better side I mean I want the, the face to be on that side because this side's a little bit skew with on this corner so that will be the face and he will be going on there like that 
Must want to get to cut a few feathers. These feathers that uh, come out here, yeah. Well, I'm going to play around with um, its eyes and its and its beak. Um, what else we've got to make? Just its feathers and its legs. Um, I'll make one leg and then we'll make one leg together. Well, welcome back to Cold Art. Um, only a few things to be done now to complete this uh, robin. Um, is What we've done so far is looking quite good. Um, we've got a few feathers to make to go around its neck. A couple of feathers to go underneath the underbelly to hide the legs and indeed the legs to do. Oh, and the tail. So let's crack on with the feathers. Quite basic really. Just a couple of inches of red cord. Seal one end with a bit of heat and then comb it out. Yeah, you can leave it like that, which I'm going to, well, yeah, I, I'll just show you. You can get a, a wire brush and make it go even fluffier if you wish. So we've made four of those, all about two inches, and we put them to one side to go under the head when we have a glue up. Um, I've also made those two brown ones to go underneath the underbelly. Yeah. So the tail, I've chose to make the tail out of, out of a zipper sennet. Um, you can use whatever you like, but I find this the, a nice little knot to do. So I've got 30 inches of cord. I've just doubled it over. Um, all we're gonna do here is put one loop in one side, come round the back and put the loop through, yeah? Don't know if it, I'll do that again a bit close up. So we've got the loop. The top one's going to go underneath like so. So you've got a loop like that. This one's going to come round and go up through. We're then going to tighten that so that we've restricted that loop. Yeah, like so. And then it's just quite straightforward. The one that you've tightened down on, you bring round to the back, which is looking like it's at the front on the video, but bring it around the back of the loop, bring that loop up through, and tighten the other side down, making sure that everything is nice and tight. I'm pulling the static end of that loop and tightening down some more. So yeah, tightened it down like so. It's starting to come now. So this one, in fact, it looks as though I'm coming around the front, but I'm going around the back from where I am. Hope you can understand that. It's just the way that the lens is making it look. Pulled the wrong one then. There we go. Loop. And we want about uh, two inches, three inches of zipper zenit to, uh, can you see how it's starting to come now? Yeah, I just do those three inches and come back to you. So when you come to the length of tail that you need, about two to three inches, instead of putting the last loop through there, yeah, just put the whole cord through, feed it through, bring it down, Tighten up. And then you've got two ends, this end, yeah? Two ends coming out of here. Now I'm gonna cut these short, but I'm gonna make them so that I can put a, a fid on these two. And then I'm gonna feed it into the back part of the uh, robin. And then Feed it up like that, yeah? So I'll put it in through a couple of cords. I'll probably fortify it with a little bit of super glue, but it will be like so, yeah. So that's the tail. Let's uh, turn our attentions to the leg. Now the leg 
is that made out of a piece of wire. It's got three toes coming forward and one going backwards. Now this is the structure for tying, well I just, I just whip it with um, some two millimeter cord from the top to the bottom and then out on one leg. Touch a super glue to stop it from coming off and then I do each foot individually as I say, I can include one on this. But how do we make this piece of wired foot? Well, I've got a six and a half inch piece of wire here and also a two inch piece of wire. So six and a half inches. All I do is get hold of the fid, find about halfway on that six and a half inch piece, like so, bend it round the fid quite tight like so and then just start twisting keep the action the same left left over right and you'll get to where you want to so we'll come down like so Get to a point where we've got some decent feet. It doesn't really matter if it's the same length as the other one because they're going to be glued in a position where they appear to be the same. Um, but we'll just check. A couple more. Well, one more, I think. That's it. So we slide it off the fid. Now the two inch piece, we're going to place at the base there, like so. We're going to take one underneath, a bit fiddly, one underneath. Just a matter of folding it over, like so, get there. So it's twisted round, round one now. I don't know if you can actually see that. Twisted round one. I'm going to twist it around that one as well. And then back that way. Bit of a straighten up with some pliers. And a tighten up. I'll tighten that up some more, but you get the gist of the idea. And then there's the leg here. So I'm going to go ahead and make those legs. I'll show you a leg made. As I say, I usually get brown two millimeter cord, just stick it through the loop, touch a super glue, wrap it round, round and round the leg, and then along one toe, and do the other three toes separately from uh, outside, sorry, inside to outside, and then touch a super glue on each end. Come back to you. Welcome back. As you can see, we're just about ready for the glue up now. I've got the head, the body, I'll put the tail on. I actually threaded it through a thread just there. Um, so the head's ready to go on, the feathers will go underneath. I'll be using a hot, hot glue gun to actually achieve doing all of this. Uh, the legs have come out quite well. Probably need a bit of touch up with paint here and there just to hide a bit of uh, green wire. But um, yeah, they'll, they'll be um, glued along the base like so. Yep, uh, with a couple of feathers underneath to hide the glue. So I'll see you on when I've actually had a glue up and we'll see what it looks like. Well, before I lose the light, I thought I'd show you the finished item. Well, there he is. Not exactly the same as 
before he feels a little bit bigger and obviously a different face got bigger eyes but I'm quite happy with them I hope the customer is happy uh, until later thanks from Cordart see you again bye